Good morning peeps, it's Sunday morning and it's a tradition to have sorrel. So Clive, tell me what's sorrel exactly? For the peeps that don't know. What is sorrel? Yeah man, sorrel that thing where Jamaica people deal with every Christmas. Around Christmas time. Jamaica love. We wanna feel Jamaica love. Everybody wanna visit. Bounty killer say what? Nine years now you don't drink no sorrow. Nine years now you don't drink no sorrow. You hungry again? Then I go see nine. Okay. Sorrow is a Christmas drink. Okay, so what is it? A plant? Is it a plant? So this is what. Is this what what so what is this? Is this a bud from seed? Is this is it a seed? Seed and it come out with the bud. Oh, and this is the, the bud from the seed, yeah? Yeah, sorry, it'll come up like one year it takes a beer tree. It takes one year to beer? Yeah. So it takes a year to grow. Grow. And this is is this the flower or is this the like seed, the actual seed? Yeah. Which one? Is it the flower or is it's it the flower of the seed? Oh, it's the flower of the seed. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah. So what they do is they make a drink out of it. So let's see how we make sorrel. So the first thing is to make the sorrel is that you have to boil, boil some ginger. ginger. And how long did you boil the ginger for? In the time. In the time. For how long? For half hour. Oh, so you boiled it for half hour so you get the real strong ginger, ginger. taste in it, and then you add the sorrel, it's already which you need to wash first, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you add the sorrel. And then would you how long do you keep the sorrel in there for boiling? Oh, ten minutes. Ten minutes? Okay. And they usually only do it around is it around Christmas time only? Don't, don't they do it any other time? Or is it just for special right, occasions? Some people do it right the year. Yeah, but most people, Jamaicans do it for special occasions, yeah. don't they? Yeah. But it's, it's, we're in the second week of June. Is, is this the first or second week of January? Or we'll be coming up to the second week of January now. But we thought we might do some sorrel because I like it so much. So what happens, it goes completely red. It's almost like, by the time it finishes, it'll be turning into wine, but it looks like wine. But yeah, so I'll be back when we get to the next okay, part. This is the end result. And how long did you have it boiling for with the ginger? Oh, about eight, 10 minutes. But look at the difference, it's kind of really stir it. Oh yeah, that's the colour there. Okay. That was quick, wasn't it? Have let me have a look at one of the buds. Can I have a look at one of the buds? Oh look the steam. Okay, yeah, so you can see that it's kind of translucent now, isn't it? Where it's taken the Okay. So you leave it to you leave it to cool. Yeah, so how long, so you just leave it to cool completely? Completely. Just leave it to cool completely. Strain it, put them on the fridge. The so, oh yeah, so, yeah. So we'll be back, peeps, with the next part of the process. It's not hard really, but it's just a favourite drink of West Indians around Christmas time. So, we'll be back. Come on, peeps, so I'm back. And now it's cooled down a bit. We're going to stress it, strain it out, aren't we? Is that what we're going to do? All right. So obviously we're somewhere where we haven't got all the proper tools, but we're managing. And it smells really nice, actually, with the ginger in it. Sorrow has got a particular taste, but until you taste it, you don't know. I don't even know how to describe it, really. But it smells fantastic. What does that? What do you think that smells like? What's it similar to? You don't know. It's got its own unique like, smell, like hasn't wine, it? Like wine. Well, it looks like wine, doesn't it? But it's not. It's like, well, it's a fruit, isn't it? Is it a fruit or is it a seed? It's a seed, isn't it? I keep asking that question, don't I? Because it looks so peculiar. What are you doing? You're squashing it down. Oh, you're getting some more of the juice out of it. I'd be using a spoon, actually. Wouldn't you? Use a spoon to squeeze it out a bit. Well, that's what I usually do with the blended juice, isn't it? Yeah, just squeeze it out. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, so you squeeze it out just like fruit, but it's like I said, it's a seed. It looks like almost like a hollow. It's hollow, isn't it? So it's it's picked off the seed, isn't it? So I suppose it's picked off the seed and it's kind of so it's hollow. Interesting. 
Yeah, so he's just squeezing that out. And, and what happens next after you squeezed it out? Oh, I guess you're showing me that, aren't you? Gosh, that makes quite a lot, isn't it? That's going to make at least two litres, isn't it? Is it about two litres? About one of them fizzy bottled drink, isn't it? Or is it less than that? Oh, about a litre. About a litre and a half. That looks like you could fill a bottle for the one of those fizzy bottles. Two litre bottle. But I could be wrong. Oh, so you're sieving out the ginger with it as well, so it's still got ginger in it. Is that ginger it's got in there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, the last of the ginger, because you left it in when you was boiling out the sorrel. Mmm, so that's what it looks like, folks. It looks like wine, doesn't it? But it's not. It's like a fruit. It's almost like... Wine. It's like, it's almost like a... It's almost like a wine. And like, some people just add sugar to it and that's that. But then, you can add rum or red label. Red label is a West Indian wine. <clears throat> you can't get it in the UK, actually. But I like it, I have to say, I like it with rum. I have, I think I've tried it with, have I tried it with Red Label before? Because it's only Jamaica I drink this, isn't it? Is it Red Label we tried last time? Last time I was here. Yeah, but this time I tried it with rum. And it's really nice. It's just like, uh, Clive is a little bit free with the sugar sometimes and I'm not a sugar person, but that's okay. <laughs> so you want to show how it looks without the rum and all that in it? Okay, let's see what it looks like. So how much rum would you add to maybe a litre or a half of that? You've got it all over the counter. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, it looks it looks exactly like wine, doesn't it? Look. That's it sieved out. It looks exactly like wine. But it's not. It's actually a, what they call a healthy, it's quite a healthy drink, isn't it? Yeah, it's a healthy drink, um, yeah, but what they do for Christmas is add, add yeah, rum or some kind of wine. It's usually red label. What do you say? It's, it's good for cancer. Really? Why did you say that? You're just, getting a, you're just getting rid of it. So that's not good now, is it? That needs to be thrown away now, isn't it? You couldn't use it and boil again, could you? Some people do. No, that's not going to be tasting the same. You want the full strength, don't you? But that's going in the bin. Yeah, so no. We, we wouldn't serve it out again. But yeah. So that's that's what it looks like. But we'll probably add rum to it. And you can use red label. So maybe when I get back, you see us adding the rum. How much rum would you add to that, though? Hmm? How much rum would you add to that? About half a quart bottle. Half a quart, half a quart bottle, half a flask, half a quart bottle of rum, yeah. So maybe when we come back we might see if have it on, okay. But that's it folks, that's the main drink. So you add sugar to it because it's kind of bitter without sugar to be fair. And yeah, add your rum if you want to. So we'll be back. It's on back. Clive is just adding sugar to his drink because that's no way in the world am I adding all that sugar to mine. But he's just tasting it. Why don't you just wait till? I don't know why you don't just wait for the rum. Why are you not waiting for the rum? So why are you not pouring that back in there? Then I don't understand. Okay, you just gonna taste it. How much sugar are you putting in there? Oh, you are, you are. Yeah, but you know what I like to do two, three. It's fine. If you want to do it once right now, then you want to. So you do it according to the taste? Yeah. According to how you want it? Oh, you want it. Yeah, because it's going to need sugar. You can have your sugar if you want it. I might want you to do it more to buy it. Well, I don't. You don't need sugar now. If it was down to me, I'd add either, either honey yeah. instead of the sugar or agave nectar instead of the sugar. The sugar is just refined sweetness and it's empty calories. And 
Yeah, but if it was down to me, but this is the Jamaican thing, that's what they're used to, so I'm going with it, I'm going with it. So we'll probably have it with our Sunday dinner, which I'll probably show you later, which I, I think I did, um, yeah. So we'll probably have some, we're going to have some curry goat, local, what they call local curry goat, as opposed to foreign curry goat, but I'll explain that another time. So that's that, so we've added the sugar, so the last thing left is to add... The last uh, thing is, oh, you're going to take it out now? We're well, going to start know. cooking it now? Yeah. Wow. Now, I'll freeze it up if you want to tell it to the back. Okay, and um, yeah, so this is it for the moment. So it's got the sorrel boiled with ginger and he's added sugar. So that's it so far. That's the basic recipe so far. And it's everything is according to taste. What they normally do is add a pound. Add a pound, and that's add a buy. What did we buy? A pound of sorrel, yeah? Right. Was it a pound? Yeah, it was. A one pound could, could if we wanted to, make two litres, but I like it. We like it quite strong, don't we? Yeah, so we like it quite strong. So you could, it could make two litres, but we like it quite strong. How's it taste? So far? Right. Can I have a taste? Let me taste a little drop. It's full of sugar in it. Wow. Yeah, but you can taste it strong, though. I just tasted it. It's nice. It's nice even without the rum, but... If you want to drink it like that but how i know it to drink it is to have some kind of uh, dare i say alcohol in it either red label or rum so that's how i normally have it i'm not used to having it without anything in it but a lot of jamaicans just drink it without sugar and without alcohol as a health drink which i don't mind drinking like that to be fair but because i tried it with the sugar in it first of all that's how i have it so i'll be back with the final Probably, you'll probably see it at Sunday dinner actually. <laughs> so I'll check you later, right, peeps. So this is the final sorrel. We've actually put it in a Coke bottle because that's big enough. We haven't got a container, a jug big enough to take all of it in there. But that's the sorrel with sugar in it. And we're gonna, we're gonna this time we're gonna try it with some red label because last time we had rum, but we're gonna try it with red label. So there's the red label. Let's see the label first before you start doing that. That's what red label looks like. You can actually buy it in the UK, but um, this is the red label. So we're going to pour the whole lot in there. And then it goes into the fridge to cool. And we'll probably have it with Sunday dinner. But yeah, so that's what, how you make sorrel. So all together, it's just sorrel. You do the ginger first, boil the ginger for half an hour. So it's a really strong ginger taste. Then you add the pound of sorrel. You let that boil for about 10 minutes, you turn it off, let it cool, and then you can sieve it. You sieve it, and that's the end result there. And all we've done after that is add sugar and add um, the red label. Can I sample a bit? Is it still warm? Oh no, it's been in the fridge for a while waiting for the um, red label, isn't it? So just a little drop. I just wanted to sample a little drop. Let me see what it tastes like. Because that's probably going to taste like wine now, because it's got the red label in it. Stop, that's enough. I don't want it too much. Yeah, so that's what it looks like up close. It looks like wine, doesn't it? It's just wine. Let's have a taste. <laughs> that tastes... That tastes good. It's going to taste any better when it's chilled. When it cools. Yeah, when it's cool, it's going to be sweeter, isn't it? Yeah, so you didn't put you didn't put as much sugar as last time. That's what I noticed. You didn't put as much sugar as last time, did you? You didn't put as much sugar as last time, did you? Less sugar, yeah. yeah, in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one better. I like that better. That's yeah, going to taste nice when it's chilled. Sure. No, you can sweeten yours if you want. You, you look, people love sugar in it. Yeah, but that, that is exactly how I want it. That tastes nice. So I can't wait for that to chill. And we'll have it with Sunday dinner, which we're going to have with some curry goat. And, and I'll show you that another time. Yeah, but there you go. You're going to start the curry goat now? All right, peeps. I'm gonna see what's going on with this curry goat. We wanna feel Jamaica love. Everybody wanna visit Jamaica. Jamaica love. Jamaica.